All right, and now it's time for our guest. I've got Jean-Pierre and Guy from Stars Shine for Everyone. Welcome to the Weekly Space Hangout, guys. Hi. Thanks, so. Hi. So can you let people know uh, who you are and, uh, and what your organization is? Well, our organization is Stars Shine for Everyone. It's a project from uh, the public observatory uh, Armand Pien here in Ghent, Belgium, together with the Department of Physics and Astronomy of the Ghent University. And the project is that we donate telescopes, but just not to anyone. We select groups of people with, uh, who are disabled or who are in need of telescopes. And also we just don't donate the telescopes. We make sure that if we donate a telescope, it also gets local support to have the people or the children uh, who get the telescope, that they get educated to, to work with the telescope. That's our whole project. But the guy who invented the project is the guy next to me is Jean-Pierre. So he might tell you how he came up with this idea. Well, I started then uh, two years ago, 2015, I had the idea, the idea on the train. So we have here uh, many children, many young youngsters uh, who we helped with astronomy. And uh, on a certain moment, uh, we realized that there are many, many youngsters all over the world who had not the chance to observe the night sky with a telescope. So that's the whole idea. I'm pretty jealous. Uh, one of my favorite things to do is to set up a telescope and for somebody who has never seen the night sky with their own eyes to look through that telescope for the first time, especially if you show them something like Saturn and they can see the rings and they just they can't believe it or uh, showing them Jupiter and you can see the moons of, of Jupiter, some of the craters on, on the moon and things up up close like that. But you just get to have that experience over and over and over again. I'm, I'm a little jealous. <laughs> well, we don't do it actually ourselves. No. We have our telescopes go all over the world. We don't travel with the telescopes. <laughs> but we you're, but you're helping more people get a chance to have that experience of yes, seeing, we seeing don't through a telescope for the first time. Look at their face when they first look at the telescope. We have that other people do that for us. Local organizations, astronomy groups or schools or university help us out with the local support with the telescopes. That's why, that's why we work together uh, with Universe Awareness. Universe Awareness is in uh, 64 countries. Uh, they help many people. They have lessons, they have all of it. So they do it from 10 years, so, the, so they have the experience. And they also know where the needs are. That's very important. You can do it all by yourself. It's too many. Uh, it, so let's talk about the, the gear. So what kinds of telescopes are you sending to people? Well, the telescopes, we um, get them for free, actually, from the company Bresser in Germany. They donate us uh, refractor telescopes, 90 millimeter refracting telescopes, um, with some eyepieces and a finder. But for this uh, telescope, we built ourselves here in the workshop with some volunteers from our organization. We built, built wooden mounts, uh, alt azimuth uh, mountings, but very sturdy, very reliable, that they can survive in... Uh, well, other countries with, uh, and they can survive the transport. It has to be very sturdy or can be repaired in a local country some far, far away. So just to sort of break that up for people, I mean, the telescope that people can see behind me, that's only a 70 millimeter telescope. So yeah. a 90 millimeter telescope is a, is a, is actually a pretty big telescope, you know, uh, 90 millimeters. Uh, and then you've got an alt azimuth mount. So that allows people to be able to track objects in the night sky. Now it's not motorized, right? It's just, uh, it's, it's not manual. motorized. It's just we keep it plain and simple. So the first observation, because mostly look at moon planets and all the other thing, and they don't need tracking for that, but you keep it basic, keep it low budget. And that's, uh, what we aim for that not to complicate it because it, this gets sent to Africa where they have no means for uh, fixing or repairing things. So it has to be really simple. To work right. With. And if, and if the, the wood breaks or if the legs wear out, then they can always find they local fix, wood right. and, and replace it and repair it. Right. That's, that's the idea. That's, that's the idea. And, and the idea is also, uh, the idea is also look at the moon, as you say, Saturn, Jupiter. So to give a little, a little bit astronomy, a little bit bewildering, uh, yeah, excitement and excitement at the people. Yes, 
Yeah, and to have that, you know, if it's the first time they've ever had a chance to look through the telescope, to be able to see these things that they've seen in the sky, but then to actually see it close up, I think is a pretty uh, a great experience. What kind of feedback have you had? I mean, I hope you've had a chance to hear about the experiences if you haven't sort of been present every time someone's seen Saturn for the first time. Yeah. We have the experience, uh, we always, when Universe Awareness has uh, every year a telescope contest, win your own telescope. So who wins this telescope? There's always youngsters who, um, who teach, who teach, who teach, who educate children. And so we have contact and so we have also the experience what they do. So we ask for it. When we, de when we donate a telescope, telescopes are um, signed by astronauts, by, by scientists. So it's very important that we had also some feedback. Mm -hmm. So we asked for it and uh, yeah. that's why yes. We keep track of our telescopes yeah. and we constantly contact the people, local people to send us feedback. So we never donate a telescope to a single person, but always to organizations. How many telescopes have you sent out there now? I guess uh, 150 wow. or more. Yeah, in three One, years. How many? One hundred fifty. One hundred fifty. One hundred fifty, or uh, even more. Yeah, I keep losing count. <laughs> I have one of the things that always amazes me is sort of the ingenuity that people can come up with when they get their hands on a piece of equipment like this. So, have have any of the people who've received this done? You know, gone further, done astrophotography. Um, uh, you know, helped in some citizen science projects, some other observations, things like that. I don't think so. I think yet. Ah, yeah, in Kosovo. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, from Kosovo. Course. Yeah, we have a girl from Kosovo. We have also uh, Suhel Ahmeti from Kosovo. And they do it, yes, like this way, astro, uh, astrophotography and everything. So not only with this one, but they have other telescopes. So, so it's, it's part of the, plug for the, the, the love for astronomy, yeah. and then they continue on with other equipment. But getting the telescope does is really what. Yeah. Well, started. and that was my next question: is you know, have people gone and taken sort of these introductory looks into the night sky, and then pursued astronomy further? Maybe you know, gotten their hands on on better equipment and and turn this more into a hobby, and maybe even eventually a career. Well, this girl did, but of course, we send these telescopes out to people in need, yeah, who cannot afford buying a telescope. So it's very hard for them to buy high-end equipment with motorized motors and CCD cameras, they're all really, ha really happy to have this basic telescope. So the, the public we send it to is not really the public that goes on in improving and buying high-end equipment. What I try to do in this person, but there are countries where education is not easy. Where education for girls, for example, in Pakistan, say something, Afghanistan, it's not easy, it's not evident to educate children and educate girls. So the goal is also put the telescope there, controlled, and that they have a first first feeling of, of, of a night sky, a view in the night sky with the telescope. There's not to go very further, but a start. It's always it's always a start. And when you have 1,000 persons, you, you give a start, possibly there are one, two, three, four, five, who goes further yeah i mean i guess you'll have to keep track of the people who get a chance to use it and sort of see where they go and where they move over over yeah. uh over time uh, so let's say that people want to get involved in this kind of a project and help participate what can they do well um you can always what we call donate a telescope is that you send us you, you transfer us the money for a telescope and you find a local organization that can <laughs> use such a telescope and then we will send out a telescope and that maybe that person who wants to donate something, he can be the one who keeps local contact or trains the, trains the people there who gets a telescope. That's one way to do it. But we are limited in capacity. We don't do, let's say, 100 telescopes a year. We're limited to about 30 a year. That's a lot, lot of work for us already to keep track of all telescopes. So. Um, but but if someone who is watching or listening to the show right now, if they have an, a community that they think could, re, you know, that they're aware of that could use a community and, and they want to raise the funds or, or donate a telescope to that community, yeah. this is the kind of, of, of thing that they can do. Uh, about how much does it cost to be able to send a telescope to a community? Oh, 
it depends what country. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but sometimes uh, we have people who say we bring a telescope to this country or this country. But we have, uh, for example, Senegal. Senegal in Africa, that was not so easy to put a telescope there. So we did it by um, uh, government. Yeah, the uh, government. Uh, diplomat uh, diplomatic. Uh, diplomatic case. Diplomatic case. Right. That's expensive. Yeah. That's expensive. Yeah, so the, the, the telescope uh, itself, I think it's. Telescope itself. Uh, 150. It's 150 euros. euros so. Right. So we, d we donate it, but uh, the cost to send this telescope was 300 euros. Right. So, so we need some money to. <laughs> but if, if, for example, somebody is in a place like Senegal or some other country and they already are there on the ground and they already have stuff that's coming to them, then maybe that would be a good. Uh, a good connection to say, yep. you know, to yep. help fund a telescope for their for the local area. Yeah, sure. that can be done. Yes, that can be done. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes the, the transport is more difficult. Uh, like but, sending uh, a telescope into Pakistan and get it past past customs is more difficult than just sending a telescope yeah. or building yeah. a telescope. Yeah, well, absolutely. That's what I was thinking. Is that the challenge is not about the telescope. That's the kind of thing that you can buy at the store. Although, you know, having a nice rugged telescope that's easy to set up, very simple to use. I mean, I think that's. That's sort of a special yeah. um, uh, situation. So yeah. where does this go next? I mean, you've, as you said, you've got 150 telescopes out there. What are your plans for the future? The same thing. Same thing. <laughs> the same thing. Keep, just keep it small. We are just small, keep a group small. of four, yeah. volu four volunteers working on the mounts, and uh, we get the donated the telescopes from the company Bresser in Germany. Yeah. We have to keep track of it. We're just a, a small group. We want to be on top of it. We don't want to grow too fast and no. then lose track of our telescopes. We want to have, really have the public reach the right public and have control over it. So we, we don't see this worldwide booming of telescopes. No. We have to keep it small scale. No, you can give 1,000 telescopes away yeah. without any problem. But that's not the goal. That's not the goal. Does it must be uh, simple. Uh, it has to be motivated. It has to yeah. be useful. Yeah. useful. And that's why that's why organization as uh, universe awareness is crucial in this because they have the knowledge because they know where the needs are and they know also how to send the telescope to many countries because they have ambassadors of universes universe awareness every, uh, everywhere around so if people want to get involved they want to find out more information where should they go they can go to our website it's uh stars shine for everyone.be but it's abbreviated it's uh, ssvi.be and under translations you will find the english page with uh, all the information on our um, project there it's we just go. one thing because we don't translate everything but you can look at the pictures and then all the other things and uh, you will well, get an idea of the, the project but they are uh, also uh, on this website video uh, video messages in english Perfect. Well, thank you so much, guys. And I'm, you know, and like I said, I am, uh, I'm really kind of uh, jealous of this uh, opportunity that you get to share astronomy with people in the world who have never had a chance to look through the telescope. So I really appreciate what you're working on, and I wish you good luck in the future. Thank you very much. We like doing it. So. All right. See you later. Okay. Bye. Uh, thank bye. you.